In the Middle East crisis today, Israeli airstrikes and explosions have been reported near hospitals in Gaza City. This is the chaos outside of one hospital. Facilities are packed with patients and civilians seeking refuge. The Israeli military says the hospitals are Hamas strongholds. This comes as the military is pushing deeper into dense urban neighborhoods in its war with Hamas militants. That intense fighting is forcing thousands of civilians from northern Gaza to seek safety in the south. And now the Biden administration is calling for longer humanitarian pauses in the war. Washington correspondent Raquel Martin has the latest. While in India Friday, Secretary of State Antony Blinken said far too many Palestinians have now died in this conflict. Notably, this is the Biden administration's sharpest criticism of Israel since this war began. Secretary of State Antony Blinken says Israel must do more to minimize civilian casualties as Israeli forces ramp up fighting inside the Gaza Strip. What Israel announced yesterday uh, will help. Blinken says four-hour daily pauses allowing Palestinians to flee northern Gaza is a positive step. But longer pauses are needed. Blinken says the U.S. focus remains getting more than 200 hostages out safe, while also surging humanitarian aid to hundreds of thousands of now displaced Palestinians. I had conversations uh, starting uh, a week ago with the Israeli government about steps that can be taken to advance each of these objectives. The death toll inside of Gaza surpassed 11,000 people this week, according to the area's health ministry. Our hearts are heavy. In the face of global protests, Friday, Vice President Kamala Harris acknowledged the conflict is difficult to witness. We are talking about real human beings. Um, we're talking about real fear. Fear was on full display Friday. Thousands of Palestinians sheltering at a Gaza City hospital fled south after overnight airstrikes, prompting Israel's military to expand their pause from four to six hours. Israel's government says it won't consider a ceasefire until hostages are freed. Republican Senator Rick Scott says the U.S. must stand behind them. I think we need to never forget that we have hostage, American hostages in Gaza right now. And after previously drawing into question the number of civilian deaths in Gaza, this week we're learning a top U.S. official told lawmakers the death toll could be higher than what officials are reporting from the ground. For now in Washington, Raquel Martin, back to you.